What's up YouTube, I'm Mike, and today I'm back with another video uh, about a very popular health supplement. I have been suggesting for some time on this, on this channel that uh, basically the, the society we live in, the government that, that controls this society is actively trying, uh, excuse me, is actively trying to turn every single male on the planet into a beta soy boy. Um, this has always been kind of a conspiratorial thing, uh, but there's more and more evidence of it every day. And the study that I'm getting ready to show, uh, share with you, really, it, it's it's like it's almost like they said the quiet part out loud and have absolutely no shame in doing it. Yeah, it, this to me is one of the most conclusive pieces of evidence that um, the society, especially the scientific community, that has a tremendous amount of control over what we can all put into our bodies, is actively trying to rob men of their masculinity. What I'm referring to today is the study that is linked in the description. I tried to set my camera up with OBS to do the screen and screen. I got the camera set up perfectly fine. It will not it will not recognize the audio. I've got a fucking cable around here somewhere that I'll eventually find find and maybe I can start making, you know, putting this shit on the screen for you. But today you're going to have to click the link in your in the description of this video. This uh, this article is titled "Dietary Supplement Found to Reduce Aggression by Up to 28%." So if you're me, when I saw this, I was like, "Oh my God! I hope I'm not taking the supplement." That is not the angle that these fucktard scientists are going to take or dietitians or whoever, these researchers, that's not the angle they're going to take. What they're actually going to take, and the, and the angle they're going to take is to highly recommend that children, men, women, everybody take this supplement so that it will reduce their levels of aggression. Um, I, I don't know if this has been lost on the community at large. Aggression is the hallmark of being a man. If you don't have your ability to be aggressive, then like, what's the point of even being male? I, I don't understand why aggression is considered this negative thing that we need to find a way to tamp down. But as the study unfolds, uh, that's exactly what they're trying to do here. The supplement in question is the same supplement that I just made another video about saying that it was found to increase the risk of heart disease. That supplement is omega-3 omega fatty acids. So reading from this article, it says, keep calm and try omega-3. The fatty acids available as dietary supplements via fish oil capsules and thought to help with mental and physical well-being could also cut down on aggression according to a new study. These findings have come out of nowhere. Bullshit! Bullfucking shit! You motherfuckers knew this 20, 10, 20 years ago when you started recommending, oh, you need to get your omega-3s. Did you take your fish oil today? It's really good for your heart. Well, we found out that it's not really good for your heart. In fact, fish oils can cause you to have the very heart condition they were supposed to protect you from. But now what we have in this study is some researcher who wasn't in on the fucking gig and is now saying the quiet part out loud. The real reason they've been cramming fish oil down our fucking throats for the last 10 years is because it turns you into a beta soy boy bitch. That's why they want you taking fish oil. It says, these findings have come out of nowhere. Omega-3 has previously been linked to preventing schizophrenia, while aggression and antisocial behavior are thought, are thought in part to stem from a lack of nutrition, what we eat can influence our brain chemistry. Researchers from the University of Pennsylvania built on earlier smaller studies of omega-3 supplementation effects on aggression. Their meta-analysis looked at 29 randomized control trials across 3,918 participants in total. Across all the trials, a modest but noticeable short-term effect was found, translating to up to a 28% reduction in aggression across multiple different variables, including age, gender, medical diagnosis, and length, of, and, length and dosage of treatment. 
28% is small. Imagine if I told you there was a particular hormone that would give you 28% more aggression in the gym. How quickly would you run out and get this fucking supplement? I'd be, I'd already be in line right now. I would be live streaming myself buying this supplement that was going to give me 28% more aggression in the gym. They're saying that fish oil reduces your overall aggression level by 28%. Why did they just say, hey, we found an over-the-counter way to neuter men? Because that's what the fuck they're doing. <clears throat> this guy says, I think the time has come to implement omega-3 supplementation to reduce aggression irrespective of whether the setting is community, the clinic, or the criminal justice system, says neurocriminologist Adrian Rain. Fuck you, Adrian Rain. I will not take your fucking supplement. I will not reduce my aggression. I will not allow you to turn me into a beta soy boy bitch. The trials included in this study carried out between 1996 and 2024 ran for an average of 16 weeks. They covered a variety of demographics from children age 16 and under to, a, to older people aged 50 and 60. What's more, the reductions in aggression included both reactive aggression in response to provocation and proactive aggression behavior planned in advance. How nice is that? So they've got this supplement that they've been trying to cram down our throats so that even if you are justifiably provoked, you are less likely to act out in an aggressive way. I.e., you're less likely to defend yourself, you're more likely to get cucked and walked on, which is exactly what the fucking governments in all of these countries that we are living on want. They are trying to turn us into fat, slovenly, lazy fucking drones that don't defend themselves, that they can just take advantage of and, and, and fuck over. That's all they, they do not want alpha men in our societies anymore. And they are coming up with every way in the book to fucking neuter you as a man. It says, uh, while larger studies across longer periods of time are going to be needed to further establish this relationship, it adds to our understanding of how fish oil pills and omega-3 in them might be beneficial for the brain. Fuck you. At the very least, parents seeking treatment for aggressive child should know that in addition to any other treatment that their child receives, an extra portion or two of fish each week could also help. Well, guess what, uh, Mr. Rain? I will not eat another fish, another piece of fish for the rest of my fucking goddamn life. I knew there was something suspicious about this omega fatty, this omega-3 fatty acids. Anything that they suddenly start trying to cram down your throat to, oh, it's good for you. It's good for you. Hey, you really need this. You need the bullshit. The American government doesn't give two fucks about our health. That is abundantly obvious. In case you didn't notice, what we just went through with the little masking virus, they do not give two fucks about your health. Anything the government is telling you you should be taking, you should probably run the fuck away from. I am done with fish, period. Fuck omega-3s. I don't care what else it does, into, does to my body. I've never believed that they had any value at all. Somebody's going to be in the comments with a whole bunch of fucking research. Oh, but omega-3s are really good for this and good for that. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I really fucking don't. I refuse to be taken advantage of in this way. This person is actively saying, if you want to neuter your child, make sure he gets fish oil or add a couple of servings of fish to his diet per week. Fuck that. The researchers think Something it, The researchers think something in the way that omega-3 reduces inflammation and keeps vital brain processes ticking, ticking over might be helping regulate aggression. There are still a lot of unanswered questions, shocking, but the team suggests there's enough evidence to look into this further. And in the studies that show that medications derived from fish oil can help reduce the risk of fatal heart attacks, strokes, and other heart health problems, and there seems to be plenty of upside to adding some omega-3 to your diet. Omega-3 is not a magic bullet that is going to completely solve the problem of violence in society, says Rain, but it can help. Based on these findings, we firmly believe it can, and we should start to act on the new knowledge we have. Fuck you, Rain. 
But thank you very much for saying the quiet part out loud. I will now be swearing off all forms of fish, all forms of omega-3 fatty acids. I don't, I've never fucking believed that they were apt, that they were necessary to health and longevity. The overwhelming majority of the things that the federal government or the National Institutes of Health or whoever the fuck makes these, I don't believe any of it. I absolutely don't believe any of it. Our species survived perfectly well living in caves, hunting and gathering whatever they could find. This idea that we need this full, balanced, complete diet, I think is absolute horseshit. If you want to live to be a 110 as a beta soy boy cuck neutered male because you want to take all of the most healthy things you can get your fucking hands on, be my guest. I would much rather live on red meat and steroids and be an aggressive, raving, lunatic asshole who dies at 50 or 60 or 70 after living the most virile life that I could live, like our predatory ancestors did. I don't know why it is that the human animal has become so, de just clings so desperate to this existence that you just need to live for so long. What the fuck do you people need? Why do you need to be here for a hundred years? Haven't you figured out there's nothing exciting going on on this planet? There's no good reason to be here to begin with. Like once you're done chasing pussy and fucking fighting and, and conquering and dominating, once you get up into the older years, just go out to pasture and be fucking done with it. What is the reason to live past 70? So you can see your kid, your grandchildren grow up? Get the fuck out of here. You don't really care. The thing is, is that the reason people keep living so long is because they neutered you. <clears throat> they took all your, they robbed you of all your masculinity. Your testosterone level went in the toilet. Your estrogen rised. You've got a donut around your midsection. You're starting to grow breasts. And you're sitting out in the back watching birds take a bath in the fucking bird bath or listening to them chirp at the bird feeder. Your fucking days as a viable man on this earth were over 20 fucking years ago. Take yourself out of here. This is a fucking joke. I am done with all of these bullshit health supplements that are supposed to provide all this longevity. This is nothing but an attempt of the American government to neuter every single virile man on this planet. Um, and I'm done with it. I, I again, I, you know, obviously this is not medical knowledge, uh, medical advice. I'm not allowed to give medical advice, but I'm just telling you what the study found. So if you want to reduce your aggression by 28%, then by all means, keep taking your fish oil supplements. Go have, go have your orange roughy, like Regan Grimes loves to eat his, or all these bodybuilders loading up on all this fish. And they're reducing their aggression levels. Thank God half of them are on trend to make up for it. But if you're a natty, dude, stay the fuck away from omega-3s and fish. Why would you take something? Why would any man on earth, really any human being, I can't understand it, want to reduce their level of aggression? We live in this fucking neutered society that has convinced, oh, but you'll feel so much better. You know, why don't you meditate? They run commercials for better health or better help or some shit on my fucking videos all the time. It's always some droning. There's one of one of the commercials has this guy is about the biggest beta cuck you've ever seen in your life. He's like 5'8", weighs like 100 pounds. And he's like, I decided to go outside for a sit with my cat. And I was thinking about how I could use BetterHealth.com to go to the therapist. So what the fuck? What, what are you in therapy for? Go take a shot of trend. Get in the fucking gym. Grow a set of fucking balls and man the fuck up. Stop taking fish oil. Stop listening to the government. Do you. Let's take this shit back to the caves, gentlemen. I don't know why the fuck our society wants to neuter us. But that is absolutely what is happening. And we should all... Put a stop to it. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.